Hi guys, welcome back sa aking channel at ngayon, ituturo ko sa inyo ang pinaka basic ng uh, probability. Suppose that you are rolling dice in a floor or you are tossing a coin or maybe you are lucky in spinning the wheel and you are asked to pick the color pens all of these events involve chance when we are talking chance there is a probability so many events can be forecasted with absolute certainty so the best we can say is how likely they are to happen using the idea of probability. Sa so pag sinabi nating likely to happen, ang ibig sabihin nito ay gano kalaki yung chance na mangyayari isang event. Ito ba ay uh, 100% or certain to happen? Ito ba ay uh, there is a high, high, uh, there is a high chance of probability na mangyayari or ito ba ay unlikely to happen or ito ba ay uh, equal chance to happen or ito ba ay magiging impossible to happen? So example, what is the probability in getting a 2 in rolling a die? So ano yung a chance na mahanap natin o makukuha natin yung 2 in rolling a die? So dito, i-consider natin ah, ilang numbers ba meron din sa die? Di ba meron kang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So yung getting a 2 ba ay unlikely or likely to happen? So titignan natin mamaya. Okay? So kaya pag sinabi natin probability, pwede natin siyang ilagay in a line. So, pag sinabi natin uh, zero probability, ibig sabihin, uh, there is an impossible to happen or never to happen. Okay? So, in um, rolling a die, there is unlikely to happen of choosing a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5, or a 6. So, halimbawa, kukuha ka ng 1. So, there is only 1 out of 6 ch chance. Kaya, there is unlikely to happen. So, maliit yung chance na mangyari. Okay, pero in tossing a coin, so there is an event, okay? Ang tawag natin dito ay 50-50 chance, okay? So, ibig sabihin, uh, possible ay meron kang 50% chance na uh, makuha mo ay head or tail. So, kung i-consider naman natin itong um, picking a ball, halimbawa ay a blue ball out of 5. So, there is a likely chance to pick a blue ball kasi 4 out of 5. So, ang laki ng chance na makukuha natin yung uh, blue ball. So, pero pag kinuha natin yung red ball, so, i-consider natin dito sa unlikely to happen. Okay? So, pag sinabi naman natin a certain to happen, talagang 100% mangyayari. Okay? So, mamaya magbibigay tayo ng chance na o ng event na tinatawag natin certain to happen. Okay? So, always remember that probability does not tell us exactly Okay, what will happen? So, but it will give us a guide kung ano ba yung mangyayari. So, example, how many tails will come up in tossing a coin 10 times? So, in 10 times na yun, hindi tayo sigurado kung 5 ba talaga out of 10. Kasi, di ba sabi natin, ang probability is 1 half. Hindi tayo makakasiguro na magiging 5 out of 10. Possible 4, possible 5, possible 6, or 7. Pero naglalaro, medyo malapit din sa 5. Kaya, uh, there is a guide na ang makukuha natin doon ay... Uh, uh, one half o kaya naman ay 50% pero hindi tayo mga siguro na talagang uh, 5 out of 10 ang lagi lalabas. So possible ay 4 times lang o kaya 5 times o kaya 6 times. Okay? So, pero at least meron tayo guys. So we say experiment it is any planned process of data collection. It consists of numbers of trials or replications under the same condition. So kapag ka nag-roll ka ng die, that is an example of experiment. Kapag ka nag-toast ka ng a coin, that is also an example of an experiment. Kapag ka nag-pick ka ng uh, halimbawa ball, that is also an example of an experiment. Okay? When you say outcome, it is the result of an experiment. Ano ba yung nangyari? Ano ba yung resulta sa pinaka-experiment na gagawin natin? So halimbawa dito sa pinaka- uh, rolling a die. Ang possible outcome na pwede lumabas dyan ay 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 o kaya naman ay 6. So, hindi pwedeng, ano, hindi pwedeng uh, sabay. ba? So, isa lang talaga yung uh, pwedeng lumabas doon. Okay? So, pag kinuha naman natin ang lahat ng uh, outcomes in an experiment, 
ang tawag natin dito ay sample space na nare-represent kayo ng S. Okay? So, magiging sample, sample space natin in rolling a die ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ibig sabihin, there are 6 elements in rolling a die. Pero, pag kinuha natin yung tossing a coin, ang magiging sample space natin dito ay head or tail. So, remember that yung napag-aralan nyo nung uh, grade 7 pagdating sa set, ang elements natin dito in enclosed with a pair of uh, braces. Okay? So, ito ay sample space ng uh, tossing a coin. Okay? Sa so, pag sinabi nating event, it is a collection of one or more simple events in the sample space often written as uh, event A, event B, event C. Dapat capital letter. Think a simple event. Ang outcome natin dito ay isa. So, one outcome in the sample space. So, i-consider natin dito ang tossing a coin. So, mayita natin is either head lang or tail ang mayayari. Hindi pwedeng head or tail. Pero, kapag ka nag-toss uh, na tayo ng two coins, okay, two coins na, di ba? Hindi na siya simple event. So, papasok na siya sa natawag natin compound event. Kasi possible, ang maging outcome natin doon ay head-head. Di ba? Ganyan. Okay, dalawa na yun, di ba? So, dito ay isa-isa uh, lang. Okay? So, which is i-discuss natin yan sa susunod nating video. Okay? So, another example of simple event is rolling a die. Okay? So, ang sample space natin dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Pero, kapag ka nag-roll tayo ng two dice, hindi na siya magiging simple event. So, siya na ay magiging compound event. Kasi, ang magiging uh, possible outcome na natin dito, ano ba, pagka-rolling uh, dice tayo, dalawa. Possible 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and so on and so forth. So, i-discuss natin yan sa mga sa kasunod nating video. Okay? What is the probability of a simple event? If each of the outcomes in a sample space is equally to occur, so there is an equal chance of um, equal chance that uh, the, uh, the outcome will happen. Okay, so the probability of an event E denoted by the symbol P of E is given by the number of ways the event can occur over the number of possible outcomes. Or, pwede na natin uh, ilagay the probability of event E is the number of outcomes in the event uh, represented by N of E then over or divided by the number of outcomes in the sample space represented by N of Yeah, so, ibig sabihin ng N, ilan ba yung cardinality natin dun sa, sa event E? Halimbawa ay getting a 2. Okay, so getting a 2 in, in tossing a coin. So, ilan yung pwede mo makuha dun sa 2 in tossing a coin? Diba? Isa lang naman yun. So, pag kinuha naman natin yung sample space, diba? Dalawa is either head or pay. Okay? So, kaya magiging N of B over uh, N of S. Okay, example. So, let us um, give the experiment number 1. Whereas a uh, more tosses a point one, so simple event lang muna tayo. So what are the possible uh, outcomes? Pag kinuha natin ang magiging possible outcomes natin dito, syempre, possible outcomes natin, it could be, okay, ahead, okay, o kaya naman ay tail. So yun lang naman yung possible outcome na labas dalawa, okay? So pag kinuha naman natin ang probability of getting ahead or a tail, so since in getting a head, there's only one head na pwede nating makuha doon. So, isa lang yun. Tapos, ang number of elements in the sample space natin, dalawa, is either head or tail. Kaya magiging probability of getting a head is 1 half. Ganun din yung mangyayari kay getting a tail. Kasi, there's only one tail. Pero, ang uh, total outcomes natin dito ay dalawa. Kaya, ang probability of getting a tail in tossing a coin once is 1 half. Okay? Or 0 0.5 or 50%. So, let us proceed with uh, ex uh, experiment number 2. Halimbawa, si Mar ay nag-spin ng spinner. Mangita natin, there are 8 numbers. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and uh, 8. So, ang unang tanong dito, what is the probability of getting a 5? So, kung titignan natin, ilang 5 ba meron tayo dito? Diba? Nag-iisa lang naman, eto lang naman yan. Diba? So, out. Uh, 1. So, out of what? So, out of 8. Kaya ang probability is 1, 8. Okay? So, for number 2, so, what is the probability of getting an even number? Pag sinabi natin even number, divisible by 2 or ends with 2, 4, okay, 6, and 8. Wala naman tayong 0 dyan, kaya ilan ang, ilang even numbers meron dito sa spinner? 4. So, ilang uh, total numbers meron tayo? 8. So, kaya magiging 4 over 8. So, syempre dito, pagka nag-consider tayo ng fraction, always na ilalagay natin in lowest terms. So, divide natin ang 4 and 8 by the greatest common factor, which is 4. So, divide it by 4 magiging 1 and then 8 divided by 4 so magiging 2 so the probability of getting an even number is 1 half okay so ibig sabihin there is an equal chance of getting an even number 
ganun din sa ad number. So, paano naman kapag ka kinuha naman natin yung probability of uh, divisible by 3? Pag sinabi natin divisible by 3, so we have 3 and okay, 6. So, meron lamang tayong dalawa out of 8. So, ganun din, ilalawas term natin. Kaya magiging uh, divide by 2, divide by, divide by 2 over 2. Kaya ang probability of getting uh, divisible by 3 as 1 part. So, paano naman kapag ang kukunin naman natin dito ay not. Ano ba sabihin natin? Not divisible by 3. Okay. So, kinuha natin not divisible by 3. So, syempre, meron ka number na 1, uh, kay 2, 4, kay 5, 7, and okay. So, 8. Kung bibilangan natin, ilan yan? So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 8. Tapos, lowest term natin, divide by 2, divide by 2. Kaya, makuha natin as 3 fourths. Okay? Diba kanina nakita natin that the probability of getting number divisible by 3 is 1 fourth. So, pwede rin naman natin kuhanin ngayon ang probability of not divisible by 3 as 1 minus 1 fourth. Still, ang mahanap pa rin natin dito ay equal kay Report. So, pwede rin yun. Okay. So, i-discuss kasi natin yung tinatawag natin complement of a set. So, sa susunod nating video, i-discuss natin to rolling kung paano ginagamit yung complement. So, experiment number 3. Chad rolled a fair die. So, what is the probability of getting a 1? So, sabi natin, ang magiging sample space natin in uh, rolling a die ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and okay, 6. So, ilang 1 ba ang pwede natin i-consider dito? Iisa lang naman yan, di ba? Out of 6. Kaya, there is 1, 6 probability of getting a 1. So, paano naman pag kinuha naman natin yung event? So, pag sinabi natin event, so we have 2, okay, 4, and uh, 6. So, there are 3 numbers out of 6. Kaya, magiging equal kay 1 half. Okay, probability is 1 half. Next, paano pag kinuha natin ang probability of uh, a number less than 7? So, since ang outcomes natin dito ay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, at lahat ng numbers na yun ay less than 7, so ang magiging probability natin dito ay 6 over 6 or equal kay 1. Ibig sabihan, okay, so, so we are certain that the number na pipiliin natin dito ay always na less than kay 7. Kaya 1 ang magiging probability. O kaya naman, so 100% na makukuha natin ang tamang sagot kasi kahit anong mapili natin doon lahat yon ay less than 7 pero pag ginuha naman natin ang greater than 7 which is wala naman ditong number na greater than 7 so kasi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lamang dito kaya ang magiging probability natin dito ay 0 or never to happen or impossible to happen so imposible na makakuha tayo dito ng greater than 7 so syempre kapag ka ito ang pipili dito wala ka, wala ka talaga chance na makakuha ka ng greater than 7 so if 0 or impossible or never to happen so let us consider ex uh, experiment number 4 a jar at the right ito yon contains apat na red balls okay so kahit pag yun ang bilangin so there are 4 red balls dyan then 4 violet balls 2 blue balls and 5 green balls so una what is the probability of getting a red okay so since apat ang red natin dito at pag tinotal natin ngayon ang 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 isabihan, ang total number of balls natin dito ay 15 okay, so kaya ang magiging sample space natin dito ay uh, 15, so the probability of getting a red is 4 out of 15 or 4 15 so pag kinuha naman natin ang probability of getting a violet ganun din, kasi magiging 4 out of 15 kasi 4 violet. So, ang total ay 15. So, pag kinuha naman natin of uh, probability of getting a blue, so, ang blue balls natin dito ay dadalawa lang. So, ang total natin ay 15. Kaya, ang magiging sagot natin dito ay 2 out of 15. Pero, pag ganyan, kinonsider naman natin ang probability of getting a green, ang green balls natin dito ay 5. So, 5 out of 15. Okay, eto, pwede pa natin ilaw. Start. Kasi, divisible by 5 ang numerator at denominator. So, pag divide natin by 5, magiging 1, over 3 or 1 third. So, the probability of getting a green ball in a jar is 1 third. Okay? Bago ko uh, tapusin yung aking discussion, so, lagi sana natin natanda na sinabi ni Aristotle that it is part of probability that many improbable things will have happened. Natandaan natin ang sinasabi ni Aristotle that it is part of probability that many improbable things will happen. Naakala natin ay hindi mangyayari pero mangyayari pala. So, Ito yung uh, sinabi ni Aristotle. Okay? So, I hope guys na 
uh, huwag nyo kakalimutan mag-subscribe sa aking channel at pakihit naman yung ating uh, notification bell at kung nagustuhan nyo yung ating uh, video, pakilike at kung pa pwede, uh, ipakashare na rin sa ating uh, sa iba para at least uh, matulungan din natin sila. So, that's all for this day. Uh, thank you and uh, God bless you.